Yeah, hi friend. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to explain you regarding the in-hand salary for freshers in one of one of India big company. The name of the company is Infosys. So in this video, I will I will tell you the take-home salary uh, in Infosys before pandemic. I mean when the people used to used to uh, get trade in Mysore. Uh, I mean during the time of a pandemic. I mean now because uh, in in the next year. Uh, they might go they might start their trading in infosys again so you might get the earlier salary also so i will explain both the salary uh, third thing uh, regarding the examination pattern that how how important is the training in infosys and what will happen to you if you don't do well in training in infosys fourth the service bond period of infosys and how much you have to pay if you want the uh, relieving letter during the service bond and what is the consequence if you don't don't pay the service bond and you leave the company so all this answer I, I all this question I will try to answer in this video so please watch my video till the end and do like my video if you like this and do subscribe my channel so Infosys I would say Infosys uh, before pandemic uh, I, I would start from before pandemic okay infosys before pandemic they used to hire uh, the fresher candidate and the salary package was 3.6 lpa and they hire you as a system engineer training so they give they have a one year i would say <laughs> training period yeah where where they take you and relocate to the mysore and give your training on the different technologies okay and you might be thinking that what would be my enhanced salary in Mysore. So earlier on, they used to give around 18,300 in hand uh, during, your, uh, during your training period, I would say, or before confirmation period for the guys who have done BE, BTEC, MC and MSc and got system engineer trainee role. Okay, so it, um, for fresher system engineer trainee role, uh, uh, when they used to give training in Mysore, they used to give 18,300 in your hand after deducting everything. For BCA guy, it was around 12,000 per month after deducting everything. Okay, uh, They used to hire from the NITs also and for them they used to give around 40k in hand. So and right now, now what they are doing, uh, I mean earlier on they used to deduct 45 from your salary so if you increase the add that so that is the current in hand salary which the infosys is giving uh, uh, during your tearing period so for first year right now in current market they are paying 22,800 per month for be btech mca uh, system engineer trainee and for bca or bsc guys they are giving 16,102 rupees that is after deducting everything so you you might be thinking that where uh, where the rest of the money are going they are going on your training on pf uh, mediclaim etc okay now you all know that that infosys has a very hard training I mean I mean you have to prepare you have to improve yourself every time if you don't do that and if you fail more than two time mean more than every three time on third time when you fail then they will kick you, kick your ass, and and throw out of the company. So uh, they are following this rule from from a very beginning, and I would say that that's good also. I mean, they are giving you a training, they are training you in a different technology. I mean, they will train you Java, any latest technology, SAP, and based on your performance, they will give you the projects. The training period of Infosys is very important because based on this training performance, your next salary increment will depend and whether you will get any confirmations or not that will also depend on this training scores so so at the end of a year when you when you have passed all the exam okay or you have failed less than two time in all the exam then they will give you high so they for the for a top performer I mean was percentage is more than 92 percent and they never failed in any exam uh, the, they will increase your salary by 5k and they call it as a TPF 5k and give 25k as a one-time bonus 
so that's called as a TPF for for the person uh, whose percentage is between 80 to 80 91 per, and they never failed in any one of the exam uh, they call as the HPF and give a hike of 5k then comes uh, the guys who have percentage of 70 to 79 percentage they call as a AAPF and give a high of 2.5k and AAPF they give a hike of 1.25k so if you if you don't fail more than two time then they will give confirmation if you fail for three time then they will say bye bye tata bye bye to you all okay so after one year uh, generally on, on an average for BE, BTEC, the salary in Infosys is 28,500, that is a take home salary and for BCA people is 18,700. Uh, for big institute or for government institute or, or good private colleges, they give uh, 40, 55k in hand salary for the uh, after getting confirmation. Now coming to the next question that how, man, how many years bond do uh, a Infosys have so Infosys have one year service bond. Mean till the time you are not confirmed, you raise a service bond, and the bond amount mean which you have to pay if you if you break the bond and want to join the new company is one lakh. So what is the scenario? See, there are two. I mean, many of you you might might be asking that hey hey brother hey Firdaus, I got an offer from another company and I am I am uh, I am working in Infosys and I am fresher. So what should I do whether to join that company or whether to pay 1 lakh to this company in this kind of question you ask me a lot and I always I always ask for your priority that what is your priority and do you are ready to take risks or not. See if your priority is that oh, you you will be joining in that company as a freshers and you have you have told that company okay you have you are you are already uh, working in one company in forces and and that company is a very big company then yeah you can leave that company and join leave Infosys and join there consequence would be this you have to answer this to the next company that why you have left this company first second thing is that okay I mean suppose you have you are uh, have done six months of training and you want you got a good offer Microsoft uh, like company or or Amazon like company you got an offer from there so what what you can do you can pay that amount uh, get the relieving letter show that experience to the next company and everything well and good <laughs> the third thing <laughs> you can do you just say bye bye I mean you know that you have a time and there is an exam okay you don't pass the exam okay <laughs> you don't pass the exam then company will tell you data and bye bye <laughs> And release you and at that time also you don't have to pay the service bond but they will uh, give the tra tra training period kind of certificate you can show that okay you have failed the failed the training period that that might not cause any problem in your BGB so there are three options to leave the company leave Infosys uh, during the tra training period first pay the amount uh, get the relieving letter join the new company second don't pay the amount <laughs> don't uh, leave the don't pay the amount leave Infosys don't show that experience to any other company third uh, fail in your exam more than twice uh, Infosys will say bye bye to you then join a new company that would not be a problem so I hope I have explained everything uh, regarding what would be your what would be your take home salary uh, your bond trade and how to uh, tackle this bond but I, I mean don't do mean see it totally depend upon the luck if you do a scouting kind of thing if you do if you uh, leave the company and join the new company so i have i have tried to explain you from the best of my knowledge uh, whatever i know i try to uh, i try to bring out uh, to you but still if you have any query if you have any question then please uh, write in a comment i will try to reply you all and please like my video if you like it and do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it till now so that's it for now. Thank you and bye-bye.